Become a supporter for my Patreon to get access to all my tutorial project files, including the one you're watching right now. Welcome back everyone to another video. Today we're going to be learning how to make an ads GUI that will be able to pop up on the screen and display different game passes that you have that you want to sell to the players and the players will be able to decline it or purchase it if it's a game pass they're interested in. It's going to be similar to Obby on a bike with the rainbow text and border. Now this is going to be pretty easy. First you're going to want to go to the description and grab the model that I've provided. So after you got the model, go to toolbox and you should be able to go to inventory and see your model there. After you add it in, just drag it right into starter GUI. You'll see something like this and then we're going to need to script it so the buttons and all the text will update according to whatever ad is showing. So to do this, just go into here, press this and add a new local script and call it ads handler. So here's the start of our script. The first things we need is marketplace service for actually selling the game passes. And then we also need tween service, which we're gonna be using to make the color gradient spin in circles and stuff. And also we have some variables to get different, to get different GUIs and also to declare just some sizes. So we have the add template, which is this right here. And then we also have the add size, which is the size it should be when it's shown the ad size in which is the size it's going to be before it kind of pops out and it gives it a better animation look so it'll look like it'll popping out more and then we have the out position and the time it takes for it to appear and after that we also have show time and the first delay what show time is is how long it's going to be before it shows you an ad so every 10 seconds it's going to show you an ad and also this is the delay that it's going to have the very first time you join the game so if you wanted to wait like three minutes before you show an ad you can just set this to 180 and then if you wanted to, after that to show an ad every two minutes you could just do 120 and that's what, how it would work and then also we have ads which these are going to be the IDs for each of your ad so these are three different game passes that I made and I just put the IDs of each of them inside of here and if you want to add more you just do this and you keep adding more and this next section of code is mainly for the animations this is gonna make the buttons have some nice animations so when you're hovering over them they're gonna pop out a little bit and when you click them they're gonna also go in it's just something to make the UI a little more interactive but what this is gonna do is we initialize the size of the button that we're gonna want to add animations to and then we're also going to get its outsize and its insize which is just its default size minus and plus some pixels so you can change this if you want but it's gonna make the button bigger when you hover over it or and smaller when you click it what we want to do when our button is hovered over we want to tween its size to the outsize give it some easing info and we also give it the time and we also put the override to false and then when that's clicked we do something similar we use the in size more easing styles we have the pop time and we also make the override in the, well this time we make the override true and then for the last one when they leave the button we want to tween the size to its normal size and more easy styles pop time and we also override equals true and then what we want to do with our function that we made we just use this function on two of our buttons our buy button and our cancel button and with this complete we can actually go into our game and we'll, we'll be able to see the animations and how they work so you'll already see that it looks way nicer and it's more it's more interactive and when you press it you can see they squish down a lot you can change that if you want but yeah, that's just the buttons and it's going to make them look a lot nicer. Now we need to actually work on the function that's going to display our ad. So we create this function here called show ad and it takes an ad index. And what we're going to do later in our script is randomly just pick a number and we're just going to give it to this function. And then it's going to use that number to get one of the IDs from this ads table. And we do that right here. We get the game pass ID 
which is just the table with the R add index, so it will be 1, 2, or 3. And then we also get the info of that Game Pass using Marketplace Service. So this will give us a bunch of info, like its price and its image that it has to it. And so what we do, we make our actual ad template visible. And we also want to set the main label text to its Game Pass name. So if your Game Pass name is like two times coins, it'll say two times coins. And also we switch the icon to RBX Asset ID colon slash slash and then we connect that with its ID so we'll have the image ID right here and then also we set the ad template size to its in size because remember we want it to, to be kind of smaller and then it's gonna pop out and give us a nice animation then we also set up a connection so anytime someone presses the buy button we want to prompt the purchase of this game pass but we also make it a variable so later we can disconnect it once the ad goes away because every if we didn't then anytime they press the button they could be trying to purchase multiple game passes so yeah and now it's time to actually animate our GUI so we want to animate it outwards we want to animate the ad template between size and position with our ad size and our out position and we also want to give it these styles. I prefer using easing style back because it gives it a kind of a bounce. And then we also want to give it our time and set this to true. Then we want to wait for our ad to be closed. So if they decide to close the ad, then we can do all of this. But for now, we're just going to keep waiting until our cancel button gets clicked. But once they have pressed the cancel button, we're just going to tween the size and position and we're going to give it our ad in size and we're also going to set its position to minus 0.5 which is going to just put it I can show you right here if we have this and we have our position you can see that if we set this to minus 0.5 it's just going to go out of screen so that's what will happen but it'll do it smoothly and it'll look better and then we also have some more styles and then at the end we also have a callback function as I was also making this code I just realized we don't need this right here that makes the ad template visible equal to true because it's gonna be off screen so when we make it invisible invisible it's not gonna matter so we can also delete this and we can also delete this code and what this code would do is after the animation played and the GUI was off screen then it would make it invisible but there's really no point for that now thinking about it so I'm just gonna delete all of this and everything would work just as it would without those lines of code. Now let's also make sure that this function that we made actually works. So I'm just going to down here, I'm gonna do show GU, show add, and then I'm also going to put in the number one, two, or three to show one of these ads. I'm just gonna do one, and I'm also gonna go back to our game, and I'm going to make sure that this is positioned correctly, because wherever it's positioned now is how it's going to be positioned when it's being displayed so make sure it's not off screen or anything like that and then let's test it out and if we play our game you can see that it pops up and it says would you like to purchase quick roll there's no no GUI spinning but you can see that it did update all of the items accordingly and also if I press yes you'll see that it gives me a prompt but I already own this game pass because this is for a completely different game so yeah I already own it and it's a game pass that I made and I don't want it so I just press no and it's gone because that was a one-time thing but now we need to actually make it work so here is the code to make our GUIs actually have some color and spin to them I first get the gradient 1 and gradient 2 which would be the gradient for the text gradient for the border that's what those are and we set its rotation to 180 well negative 180 for both of these so it's the farthest back it can go and then we also get some tween info which is just like how long it's going to take to spin some easing styles which I found these to be fine and then also you're going to want to make sure to add the repeat count to math.huge so this is just going to basically run infinitely it's never going to end and you're also going to want to have reverses true so after it reaches the end it's going to reverse back kind of making it spin back and forth and making it look nice and then you can also have delay time just zero and after we have our tween information we can do cre we can create a new tween on each of the gradients using the same spin info and then we set its rotation to 180 positive 
So it'll spin all the other way and then it'll keep spinning back and forth. So we can actually play this and you'll see that it's just gonna sit here and the text and border is just gonna be all pretty shiny. And after that, then we wanna wait our first delay time. Whatever you set that to, that's what is gonna be waiting. And then this is our main script that's gonna ev that's gonna run endlessly, that's just gonna keep showing ads. And what we wanna do is go through our ads table. So it's gonna go through the first ad, the second ad, and then the third ad. It's just gonna keep going through each ad and making sure none none of the game passes get skipped. And then what we're gonna do is our sh we're gonna show our ad, giving it the index that we have, so either one, two, or three. And then we're gonna wait the show time after the ad gets closed or whatever happens in here once it's finally closed. We wait till we wanna show another ad. And then I also have this print statement which can be just removed but I had it for debugging. And now this is the end of our code and it should work. If we also want to, we can make sure after we get the out position, we can just also set the add template dot position to be udm2 dot from scale and 0.5 minus 0.5, basically the same that we had down here. And that means as soon as the game loads, it's gonna go off screen so we don't see a, we don't, we won't see this when we first load in. But we can now play it, see everything working. We load in, everything looks fine. And I think I had my, if you can go over here. Uh, yeah, I had my first delay set to three minutes. So I'm gonna actually set it to like five seconds. And then after that, it's gonna show and add every two seconds. So let's just see how that goes. Wait five seconds and voila would you like to purchase quick roll and i can just say yes or no if i try yes i already own it it's a game pass that i made earlier so i'm just gonna say no wait two seconds and another one should just come right up there you go would i like to purchase two times luck mm, no and yeah that's basically it and you see the different icons popping up and stuff. Thank you so much for watching this video and leave your video ideas in the comments below. And huge thank you to the Patreon supporters. You see Kamadzi, Foxy, Jim, Barry, NR, and Lewis. If you too want the tutorial project files, then join the Patreon and become a supporter. Thank you so much for watching.